That's a tough one to call. Well, I think in the peak and at the best, maybe it just edge it. <clears throat> Someone having Ali. Uh... I've got to go for Mam Ali, but Matt Tyson at his prime, when he was about 21, he was a very, very dangerous human being. But I would never ever bet against Ram Dali because he was a good father. Opened a lot of doors for a lot of people. Very, very genuine human being and a very, very special man. So I'll go for Ram Dali. And I think if you talk to Mike Tyson, he would say Ram Dali as well. Ram Dali, obviously. <laughs> Look, uh, yeah, come on. Mike Tyson is a, he's a good friend of mine. He's one of my heroes as well. But just Ram Dali was just something special. Uh, no one touching him. Mike always gave the respect to Ali and stuff like that. but. You know, that'll be. You know, I, I may have Ali knocking. I may have uh, Mike knocking Ali out. So if it, if I had to choose, Ali, 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 with the box head off. He's unreal. War fighter. Tyson, obviously, a quality fighter. Ali would have found a way. I hate these questions because how do you answer them? You know what I mean. Ali fought some big guys, big punchers, guys like Foreman, soaked up a lot of punishment against Foreman. As devastating a puncher as Tyson, maybe not as explosive, but he could punch as hard, certainly. I pick Ali against any heavyweight. I go with Ali. I go with Ali. I believe his movement would cause Tyson problems. Durability is injured. Yeah, Ali. Ali on points. I believe in their primes, Mike Tyson would have won. The only reason I think that the people that had beat Muhammad Ali and the people that Ali struggled with. So like Tyson was the best at that stuff. I'm a massive Mike Tyson fan too, but I, I would go for Muhammad Ali because did I know I'm not saying this, but did Mike Tyson fight the George Foreman's, the Joe Frazier's, yeah. them type of calibers, you know, Sonny Liston's, Ken Norton? He didn't, did he? So I think Muhammad Ali would just be a different, different breed, different breed of fighter. Muhammad Ali, keep him at the end of a jab, three, four rounds. Tyson's danger is gone. Muhammad Ali because, you know, for me, Mike Tyson was the Joe Fraser of, of the 80s, you know, um, and once he got exposed by Holyfield, once the bully got bullied, he, he tended, he, he fell apart, and I think Muhammad Ali would have known that. I think Muhammad Ali would have tormented the life out with him. Got to go Ali. Much as I like Mike Tyson, he's my favourite fighter, you think, uh, Ali, just in and out of the ring, and I think, that is style. Yeah, definitely Ali. I'd go with Ali, but also I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't name one winner. I, li I like Tyson a lot, you know. But Ali is definitely um, a champion in and out of the ring, and they're both full-time greats. Um, you'd have to go with Ali. Yeah, yeah you'd have to go with him. Just, uh, yeah, just, just, just his, his mind games, his, his boxing ability. Yeah, go with him, uh, Ali. Ali, I think um, Tyson was dangerous at the time, but um, he had the mom Dali boxing skills. See, I'm a big Tyson fan, and, I, and I've always said Mike Tyson had a really short window of when he was at his peak, so 21 to 23, that sort of age. Um, you know what, I'm going to say Muhammad Ali because the, the, the problems Tyson had in his fight, in, in, in the fights, what he's lost and stuff, but against out and out boxers who had a good jab, and Muhammad Ali is one of the best at that, so I'm going to say Ali. I don't like matching fighters from different eras, so I can't answer that one. They were both great champions of their time. Let's just say that. <laughs>